Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, I recently, I'd say three weeks ago recently, ordered a full roll, a $10 face value roll of Walking Liberty half dollars off of eBay. And these have been sitting around. I've been wanting to make a video opening these up, going through them. Some people have been asking about it. Well, I decided uh, I got some time, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm assuming probably most of what's in this roll is uh, common dates or uh, newer of the Walking Liberty design. Uh, but who knows, maybe we'll find something older in here. But why don't we go ahead and open this up together and see what's inside. All right. This is kind of exciting. I've never really uh, done this before. Look at that. First of all, let's count them and make sure we've got 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, the seller gets uh, 10 out of 10, or I should say 20 out of 20. Five stars on getting the count correct. So let's go ahead and take a look at these and see what we've got. First one here is a 1943. No mint mark. And our next one Hopefully the camera cooperates. There we go. Looks like we have a 1942. Does not appear to be a mint mark on this one either. This one seems a little more slightly worn than the previous one. So in 1942, our next one, 1944. And no mint mark on this one either. Nineteen forty, they're getting a little older. And number four also has no mint mark. Love that sound. And what do we have here? A forty five. Uh, we have our first mint mark. Looks like a Denver mint mark. And if you're not familiar with where the mint mark is at on a Walking Liberty, it is right here, the tip of my screwdriver. So our first one with a mint mark, 1945 Denver. All right. Hey, our oldest one so far, 1936. No mint mark on this one, but they are getting older. It'd be awesome to find one in the teens. Forty-three. No mint 
mark. Another 1943. on this one either. Another 1943. I'm assuming these were no mint mark on that. That uh, these are probably searched through before they're rolled back up, which is fine. But you never know. Another 1943 plane. I'm not really expecting to find anything spectacular in here. But I've never ordered a full roll of Walking Liberty Half Dollars before. So, 1944, no mint mark. This is pretty much what I was expecting. Mostly 40s. And that's just fine with me. No mint mark. So far we've only found one with a mint mark. What do we got here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So we're just a little over halfway through and only one of them has had a mint mark so far. We have another 1945. Nineteen forty four. No mint mark on there. Nineteen forty three. Some of these uh, look like they may have even been cleaned as well. Another 30s model, 1939. And we have another mint mark, our second mint mark out of this roll. 39D. Here's one that's been cleaned. Another 1939, looks like it's been cleaned. You'll have to tell me what you think. 1939, another Denver mint mark. It's in pretty nice condition. Nineteen forty five. Nineteen forty two, and our last one, another nineteen forty two, no mint mark. 
All right, well, I'm gonna situate these by dates and we'll do a wrap up of what we've got. All right, so we got all these situated out according to the years. We'll run through these real quick. We got 136, 239s, a 40, three 42s, six 43s, 344s, and four 1945s. Now out of these 20, only three of them had a mint mark and all three of those mint marks were the Denver mint mark. So overall, uh, happy with this roll. Like I said, I have never ordered a full uh, $10 face value roll of Walking Liberty half dollars before. Um, these were purchased off of eBay and actually these uh, were purchased for our live stream usage. So these coins here uh, will be given away in some of our upcoming future live streams. So happy to have these, happy to have something to give back to those who donate and support the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.